Alright guys, here is a uh, tutorial on how to basically take an existing external hard drive, a uh, laptop hard drive at that, and put it in an enclosure, which in this case it's the Gauntlet 2 by Patriot. Um, very straightforward. Um, so basically on this one you just pull out the actual tray. Um, the hard drive itself, let me see if I need this stuff on it. Oh, we'll just keep it. Doesn't hurt anybody. Anyway, you, all you do basically slide it in. Make sure you apply some pressure and then just drop it down. And then down here, I don't know if the camera will focus it in, but you got little uh, holes to screw it on there just so that the hardware does not move, which I'll go ahead and do that right now. looks like if you don't have um, this particular one came with a Phillips head screwdriver um, but basically I'll just use this one it's the same thing um, just screw them in looks like they gave you an extra one too And that's basically it. Then all you do, just slide it right back. Oh, it looks like the little foil. There we go. Slide it right back in. And I guess for this, for these tinier screws, oh, I can still use this one. And talk about they they are very, very, very tiny. They're they basically go right in here. Well, that's actually basically it. So, hard drive will stay in there. I guess I this sent you an extra set of both of the screws. Um, next thing, we'll just have to see if the computer recognizes it. So, let me just power it on real quick. According to the package, this one is plug and play. So, I guess if, yeah, it's compatible with Windows, Mac, and Linux. So, any operating system basically out there. This one, this particular one is Windows 10, which, let me just log in real quick. Alright, so, did log in. So let's go ahead and see if it recognizes it. So, that's the cable itself. It's just a standard USB 3.0 cable. This particular computer that I'm running, uh, which is the HP Envy, it actually has USB 3.0 ports on it. If you can't tell, on a laptop it'll just say Super Speed SS on it. So, we'll plug it in. So that's what it's doing right there. And it actually is spinning up and being recognized. There it is. But yeah, it's plug and play. That's basically it. So, 